in the green room. Just do a Getting jab. ready. I don't know if that shadow box is going to help him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. But let's listen to what he has to say about his matchup tonight. Man, the second they say go, I'm coming after Babalu. There's going to be no slow pace. Uh, you know, I, I see so many guys do that, and 20 minutes is an intimidating atmosphere, and it, it is for me too, but I, I'm not going to wait. The second they say go, I'm coming after him, I'm going to throw him down, and I'm going to go to work. And, and that's it. If he's got the skills to deal with that, then, then he can have a good night. Uh, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'm coming after him full speed ahead. I will not leave my skills behind. I never do. Whatever I've got, I'm coming after him. The second they say go, I will come across that ring and I will attack him. I will throw him down. I will put him on his back. I will pass his guard and I will remind him of the ass whipping that I've already given him. And Babalu will leave with the same remembrance that you will leave with. When you're the greatest grappler, in the world today, they got a name for you. They don't call you a great grappler. They call you Chael Son and beat me if you can. Chael, the bad guy, Sonnen. Yeah, we need more of that. Some push ups here. Nice and stretchy, getting relaxed. Always exciting fighter. Let's listen in to what he has to say about Chill. Chill is a big opponent, you know. He's 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 been he's been in the, in the market for, for a long, long time too, and he's improved his game a lot. But for me, it's only one chance, submit Chael. If I don't submit Chael, I'm losing. It's like if I'm going to wrestle with him and he doesn't take me down, he's losing. He's on my word now. I have to catch him. Renato, Babalu, Sobrol. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. I think everything is going to be a little bit of the same. Yes. There you go. There you have it. Black Belt Jiu Jitsu versus a really good wrestler with great submission skills. Can't wait for this one. Let's throw it to Chris so he can start this thing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Step forward, gentlemen, and shake hands. Fight it out. All right, here we go. Here we go, Clark. Some wrestling here for you. Let's see if Chael can do what he said he's gonna do, right? Come out with like, a lot of confidence, so. I'd like to see like a Greco-Roman, like like suplex, or like, yeah, a, like, a, like, like that some kind of like belly to back, yeah. like that would be awesome. Yeah. I'd like to see some feet. Oh, oh boy, boy. don't you call it? That looked like a slip. That it's looked like a slip. It. Silver medalist in the 2000 Greco Roman World University Championships. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell uh, from the uh, online stream, but these guys are huge. Chael looks really big right now. They're definitely bigger than 207, 209. Yeah. I uh, see a little bit of muffin top there, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Shale don't care, so had Fedor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem to stop anybody. Nope. Let's put a little more weight on the guy. All right, so we got close guard. Hanato, Babalu with the close guard. And Hanato's got actually a pretty good submission game. I've seen him tap quite a few guys in MMA fights. Using that close guard. <laughs> Okay. 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 And a half guard oh. and break. I'm gonna move you guys in the middle. Now guys, I think that half guard would be the best spot for uh, for Babalu to get something going. Maybe from the half guard he could throw a leg reap into some kind of like heel hook uh, knee bar yeah, setup yeah. like we were talking about earlier. Working with Marco who was in the past, mm -hmm. you know, he loves his leg locks as well. What do you think, Clark? What do you think from the bottom here? You're, you're Hinato, Babalu, Sobra, you got Chael on top of you. I think uh, Babalu definitely is in the place where he wants to be on the bottom, working his attacks. But, uh, you know, Chael, you know, you can see that typical wrestling stance. He's pretty confident right there, just kind of killing that, playing that anti-Jujutsu game. Uh, and uh, killing all the attacks that, that Babalu has to come with. We'll see if 
People shall Bob build Luke can make something happen here. Bob Luke trying to work that reverse arm lock there, but Chael is just too wise to that. It's too early. Looks like Chael's already sweating so much. And we're like two minutes in. Wrestling stance here, they, they never really try to open the guard, do they? They just stand strong with that strong base, and when the guard comes open, that's when they really come after it. Yeah, and you know, Chiel has been working with Robert Fallis also for a while, and he's, um, he's a really good ground coach. You know, so he sees a lot of things coming. Not many things will be a big surprise to him. I, I truly believe so. Yeah, well, well, well Chell, you know, Chell, the last Metamorphosis was uh, went up against the uh, Andre Caval. Yeah. And, you know, Andre is the best in the world. He's Abu Dhabi, absolute champ. And, you know, he knows, Chell now knows what it feels like to fight the best of the best in jiu-jitsu, in a jiu-jitsu match, you know. How did that end? Uh, it didn't go well for Chell. He, he got submitted. Wow. His back was taken, and he was choked. <laughs> But, you know, you got to think, he's going to learn from that. He's going to learn and he's going to come back harder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what I'm saying, you know, it's not, nothing new. It doesn't mean that he can stop it. It's all about the setup, I always say. You know? Yeah. Be creative enough to find a different way to go to the same submission. That's always the trick to catch people. Pablo is definitely going to have to be creative here. You know, he's got those years of experience training jiu-jitsu. I'm really interested to see what he what he's going to come out with this uh, this no gi match here. Yeah, you know both UFC fighters here. I'm 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 just hoping nobody gets frustrated and throws an elbow. That's what I was thinking right from the get go. It's got to be tempting sometimes, right? Yeah, it must be hard for them to restrain themselves from uh, just throwing a little punch to the face there. Sometimes when you can't pass the guard, you know. Yeah, punch him in the mouth. That'll get his setup going. Oh, there we go. Okay, in the half guard here. Throw his right leg over, he should. Well, that would be something to go for a knee bar. Yes. Yes. yes, always. Leg locks are always good. There he goes, Crow. Uh, cross face head control there by Chael. And we go back to close guard. And Chael is actually training at Gracie Baja, isn't he? Yeah, you see the Gracie Baja patch on him. He's not, he's, he's not against jiu-jitsu. The man trains his jiu-jitsu. He has a purple belt, from what I hear. And, uh, you know, he's, he's all on board with Metamoris. He likes the submission, the submission only movement. Great to have Chael on board. The bad guy. The bad guy. You know, but he can promote a fight, right? I, can I like promote that. A fight. I love it. I love Beat it. me if you can. That's my, that's my yeah. favorite thing he says. I love it. He has a lot of confidence. Throws things up for sure. But is it too much confidence? <laughs> is it going to hurt him? It's a lot of confidence. I think, if anything, it's going to make the... Clark, we got a, uh, we got a Clark Plata attempt there. If only Chael's neck wasn't as thick. <laughs> see if he can get the... Five minutes down. Babalu's in his guard, attacking, seeing what he can get. All right, we got a tweet here. Does Chael have a chance to pass Babalu's guard? He already did, but it, he, he can. If he wants, he can. He just chooses not to, it seems to me, right? It's an open guard. I don't think he's very determined to pass the guard. I'm, I'm sure he's pretty happy being in, in that half guard, working the neck a little bit, but... I think if he could, he would, you know? I mean, I think he knows the path. You know the path. You pass the guard, you mount the guy. You know, then we get to the upper body submissions, the neck and the arm. Uh, but Bob Lewis, he's not going to let that happen. You hear Bob Lewis coach yelling at him in Portuguese. It's not, it's not Brazilian, it's Portuguese, the language. Portuguese. Plus, yeah. Oh, yeah. I a Brazilian is like $100,000 or something, right? or like a million. A Brazilian, see? <laughs> That's a good joke. The timing on the joke is good, boss. Yeah. It's good. A Brazilian. A Brazilian. A Brazilian. Okay, see, this is where Hanato needs to get, is underneath the hips of, of Chael right there. Going back into close guard, you know, He's been down this route before, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to see him get move into a half guard, try to get underneath the hips of Chael, float him up on top, set up some kind of leg lock submission. Now Chael's starting to get some more here. But a rest guard, would you say it's a disadvantage or an advantage? It can work, work, work both ways, of course. Right? No, what do you think, Clark? The, ra the rash guard, do you think it works against you or uh, it can For help? For you, if it balances out. Well, it soaks up a little bit of sweat, but I think, it, you know, 
stop uh, the slippery side of things a little bit. But, Slow uh, down to hand break as a movie. But like for real naked jokes, is it, is it harder to go underneath the jaw? Because the, the, the rash guard. Zoom guard. Well, then again, once you go full foot lock, it's harder to pull out. I think Jeff could probably be the best one to answer this question. He trained shirtless most of the time, right? This is true. Any chance to take my shirt off, I, uh, I do. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Did you just compare me to Matthew McConaughey? Thank you. Great one, huh? Thank you. Great one. You're very welcome. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Here we go. You've got the arm locked up in there. Let's see if Bobby can do something with it. What do you call it. that right there, Clark? You I've, heard that, for that? I've heard that called Sean Williams guard. Have you heard that? One I of, have not, uh, no. One of uh, Henzo's black belts like became really good at it. Uh, it's set up for the Elmo Plata, it looks like. To me, it looks a little loose. Hug my leg, trap the arm guard. I would prefer that gable Hug grip my there. Trap. Looks like he's giving it up. I'm going to drag it. 12 See, if I was chill here, I would let my sweat drip down into the face of Babalu. Just frustrate him, you know, just gross him out and make him move. I heard that in a minute we're going to say goodbye to you, Clark, and then Dennis is going to come in. There's going to be a little tag team action going on. All right. So you guys have to do a hand clap, I guess. They got to jump in, so... Any sponsors you have, this is the moment. <laughs> Shots out to the team. Man, on it. So had a look at this, double underhooks. Oh yeah, guys, Adidas, number one gi out there. Check it out. Don't give up. Really good chance of time to say hi to mom, like you're right Hey, Definitely. Mom. Hey, Mom. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. I'm coming up to see you. Maybe I'll surprise you. Good job. Don't get Back to that close guard again. Hinato needs to do something, man. Just sitting here on the bottom, attacking close guard is not going to get anything done. Nothing. Chael's not going to walk into a triangle. He's not going to walk into an armbar. Okay, we got a tweet here. Metamorse is just reminding me how empty the MMA world is without pre-fight interviews of Chael Sonnen. There there you go. Go. Yeah, can't argue that. That it, guy is good on the mic. It is kind of quiet without him in the MMA scene, isn't it? All right, thank you, Clark Gracie, for coming in and giving us uh, your two cents on everything. Was good to have you. Is he Kimura? Is he going to get it? Oh, that Kimura looks pretty good, boss. Yep. That looks like the tightest grip uh, of the match so far. I think so, too. I'd like to see him shake it, shake it, shake it. You shake know, it off, push it, pull, push it, pull, push I always pull. say. Yeah. That's right. what I do to push it from the side you know, to unlock the hands. Ah. Slide my chest on it, and then I pull it back. Okay, we have uh, Dylan Danis here, the, uh, the winner of the last match with the Darce choke here. How you doing, man? Good, bro. Good to have you. Congratulations on that last match. Appreciate it. What do you think uh, Sobral needs to do here? I think he needs to open up more instead of just trying to play guard. He should yeah. break. maybe try to sit up and maybe push away, try to go for a takedown from his knees. But uh, right now he's just trying to play guard and play half guard, and that's really hard with a wrestler, especially like Chael. Yep. You know, he's just going to stay back and kind of wait for his moment to kind of pass and, like, you know, control. So he needs to kind of push him more, you know, instead of trying to lay back because Chael's not going to move on his own. <laughs> yeah, very hard opponent to get over. Exactly. But you got to know sweeping, you know, with, with Chael's wrestling uh, pedigree, with the counter wrestling, you got to think a sweep is, is almost the equivalent of a takedown. Yeah. So, so taking down Chael is, we all know, that's very hard to do. So I would say sweeping him is, is going to be the same, you know, difficulty. <laughs> exactly. So that leaves us with what? That leaves us with what? Submissions. Yeah. And then right now, Chael has no shirt on. It's very slippery. So it's very, very hard to get submission. So he really needs to get Don't control. Maybe jump even, uh, put, a, put a leg in between his legs, go to half guard for Pornato, so maybe he can start attacking the legs as well. Exactly. You know, go a little bit both ways. That's one submission that works really well with wrestlers, is going under for their legs and leg locks. Yep. You know, getting under their hips, because their hips are so uh, tight on the ground, you need to go under, you know? Yep. How about a Barata Plata? Huh? That would be that would be fun to see. That'd be amazing. One of the most tricky submissions in the game, especially a slipper. Yes. It's a dope submission. Though. I'd love to see that. That'd be amazing. Eight minutes to go. 
Isso, manda meio bem, que você vai pra mão, mão direita agora. Okay, eight minutes to go. I mean, talking now, about maybe. Sauber, I think nope. I think Chael should try to push the pace a little bit more. He's kind of just trying to like he, like he has his legs open. You know what I mean? He's yeah, kind of staying in his guard. It's just defending. He's he's, he's not going for his mission either. Exactly, or a pass. <laughs> yeah, it's just like he almost wants to just survive it. Exactly. Well, you know, with with Babalu, that's oh, sometimes all you can do is just survive. <laughs> that's you true. Know, I, I'm, that's I'm, true. I'm I'm sure Chill would like to make something happen here, but for sure. Babalu's guard is very dangerous. Yeah, he's been a bicycle for a long, long time. He's looking for a side choke, but you know, pulling that off in, in the guard is going to be very hard. You know, so yeah. waste of time, really, <laughs> waste of his time. It just shows a, a, a real uh, inexperience there trying to try to. What? That was a little closer. A little closer there. Seven minutes, Slowly but surely. Seven minutes. The chill looks big. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You see the muffin top, uh, <laughs> as we talked about earlier. But but Fedor, Fedor was was also known to have a muffin top, and it, it didn't bother him. Didn't bother him. Sometimes with guys like that, you know, you yep, they, they actually fight better. You know, they don't have to dehydrate. Let's go, guys. Get everything out of ah. your system. Yeah. You know, it works for you as well. I never believed in big cuts. I, I actually never fought. Light rail was uh, fought and heavy. Yeah. Never a weight cutter, huh? Yeah. And I, and I think Chael earlier in his That's career had a little bit trouble with guard and maybe a little bit harder time defending and getting caught in things because he didn't train as much in the gi. And if you saw the countdown, he was training a lot in the gi. So now his his incursies are like very very tight and very very on point. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Nice. There we go. He wanted to do it. Yeah. See, this is where we're going to see some action half guard style. That's See, Hinato keep trying to go under that leg, and Chael sprawls it right back. He doesn't even waste his time with it. He touches it, Chael sprawls it back. He's like, dude, I can't hold that. <laughs> okay, but stab it in. Throw to the left. Mm -hmm. uh, to, yeah, to the left, right? At least try. If you don't shoot, you always miss, I say. Yeah. You know, if you get him a little bit of balance, he has to base out, there's a little space. Yeah. And then you go for the next attack. And Chael needs to move, too. <laughs> All right, we have a tweet here. Does Babalu have a signature submission that he is known for? Gosh, uh, you know, nothing comes to mind. What do you, what do you, you know anything, boss? That no, 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 no. He's again going for the Kimura, though, but. I don't know. I mean, he, the first time he caught Chael was a, it was a heel, uh, arm bar or a heel hook. No, a triangle, actually. A triangle, Chael. He had him in a heel hook, a tight heel hook, and then eventually he caught him with a triangle. So okay. I don't know if he has, like, a, a specific position. Like but a signature oh, move. This, yeah. uh, this Kimura looks like it could be pretty tight. Yeah, but look, what Chael's going to pull it out again. He did it the first time. As soon as he pulls, he's going to... Uh, and Chael's sitting on his arm as well. Yep. Yeah, but just where normally they put it in between the leg, right? You grab the yeah, big yeah. handle. And then you sit on it, so then yeah. it doesn't move. It's, you don't have to waste as much energy. A break, guys. Let's move you in the middle. Moving back to the middle. So, Danis, you're, 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 you're 21 years old. Are you from New York? Yeah, from New York. New York. All the way out here. You're from Marcelo Garcia team. Yeah. Well, good for you, man. Big future. Wow. Right? Trying to, you know, bring Marcelo Garcia style here, you know? Man, it's uh, amazing. We're just talking about, you know, with a... Uh, Eight matches, you finish six yeah, people. Four, yeah. four and a half minutes. Yeah. That's pretty you know, always had to push the pace. I mean, Marcelo kind of, he doesn't just teach us, like, technique, but he teaches his mindset, too. Yeah. I think a lot of his uh, game is very, very, like, uh, calculated in his head. You know, he's always pushing forward everything, you know? Yeah. And before he came, I came here, he told me, he's like, 20 minutes. Because he got me the guy puke. He's like, if, not, if he doesn't puke, you're not going hard enough. So he told me, go for it, you know? Yeah. So that's what I came here to do. I just go for it, you know? Great coach, man. Yeah, you're very fortunate to have Marcelo yeah, Garcia as your coach. Yeah. All right, so here we are again, back into this closed guard. I feel like Chael could pull his shorts up. Four yeah. minutes. <laughs> you see, the, the boss, this is what you were talking about. He's trying to do that, like, he keeps putting his arm in that position because he's trying to get, like, a choke from closed guard, and then and then Babalu takes advantage and gets this reverse arm off. And now he's wiggled for it, but can Babalu keep it now? Just too slippery, too strong. Yeah. These moves he's going for are very, very hard, Nogi. Especially with no shirt on. Yeah. I'd like to see uh, Babalu. You know, you know, it's not a bad strategy in Metamorphs. There's no points. You, you know, let a guy pass your guard. Let a guy mount you. Let a guy get you in a bad position. A lot of times, the escapes from those positions create opportunities for you to capitalize on. Exactly. I love it. So seeing, you know, seeing this battle of the close guard, can get a bit frustrating. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's one thing I'm not afraid of is is giving up bad positions. 
And you get a lot of solutions off that. Sure. You know, like in Abu Dhabi, you got Hobson Moore with that guillotine because he was on his side, you know? Oh, are you trying to butter me up? I kind of did that guillotine. Well, I appreciate the compliment there, my man. Thank yeah, I did notice that guillotine you did, by the way. Very nice. I hit that a lot, actually, from side control. It's money. It's a great setup. Jake Shields is really good with that as well. Yeah. I trained with Jake for this fight. He's guilty. Very, very good. Stay having that leg. Stay having that leg. Don't let him swing that leg around. Two and a half minutes. Looks like Chael's starting to pick up the pace, putting a little more pressure now. I think his pants need to come up a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, Powder needs to get in there. And... Uh, for me, I think two minutes left. I think right now you just got to go for it. It doesn't matter if you get tapped. You know, a draw is kind of like a loss. I think they should just go crazy. In two minutes, you can't really get gas. Just go for it. You know what I mean? I wish everybody had your mind, my friend. <laughs> Neither guys want to make mistakes here. Two minutes left. Exactly. Yeah, but it's like uh, you say, you know, you, if you don't do anything else, it's going to be in this position. It's going to try against yeah, them for first. Break, time. break, break. Referee Chris Houter bringing them back to the middle once again. One minute 40 seconds. Chael up and running. And Bobolo is in great shape, man. He's moving his hips like, this whole fight left and right, left and right, left and right. Yeah. He must be in great shape. Torch and we go. Well, so respect there. Back to the battle. Minute and a half here, boss. Yep. What do you want to see here? What do you want to see? I want to see leg lock, trying to choke. Go for everything. Just throw the guard up high, full stop working, let it pull out, jump on top. Yeah, I mean, go crazy. Here's a comment on the Metamoris uh, Twitter. Loving how quiet it is reminds me of the pride matches. I miss the Japanese fans and how respectful they are. What do you think about that, boss? I love it. Yeah, just the difference is that here, there's not a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, there's Japan, you have 45,000 people. You can still talk to the guy in row number 30. Yeah. How about you, Dylan? What did, what did you think of the quiet? Uh, Less people here in attendance today. Coming in, I thought it was going to be a little weird because, like, I kind of feed off people's energy sometimes. Yeah. But, man, like, when you get on a mat, it doesn't matter where it is. It'll be, like, a backyard. Once you get into, like, a fight, you know you're in a fight, you know? Yeah, 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 so yeah. once I get out there, I was like, this is it. You know, this is the time. You know, it doesn't matter where it is. He doesn't matter. More intimate uh, space here. Yeah. I'd like to see more ladies. There's not enough ladies here. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a movie. It's like a, like a hidden kind of event, you know. You got like two guys in. So it's really cool, actually. It's a fun experience, you know. Well, why, by the way, didn't we see a, a female match? There's no female match. I would love to see that. Yeah. yeah. Right? Gabby yeah. Garcia is actually here, watching. That would be amazing. Gabby's probably she one could, of the best uh, girl athletes in the world. She could arguably oh, yeah. beat all the guys on this card. <laughs> probably. Wow. Ten seconds. Yeah, she's amazing. Ten seconds, Shots out to the ladies in BJJ. Okay, we're coming down to six seconds. End of the match here. Looks like we got Flying another draw. Probably Fly, <laughs> jump, go. Probably could see a double shoot, or something. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Go. Well, we're going into overtime here. Time. And time. <laughs> okay. We have a draw here. Both guys look pretty tired there. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a draw. Draw, guys. Gonna talk about it. Right here, Chael's going for his takedown, playing with the head, and then Babalu pulls guard. Just a smart idea against Chael. <laughs> okay. Here we see Babalu going for the Kimura, which is really good against a wrestler. Kimuras and leg locks are very good against this wrestler, so you see him in the match do this a couple times. Here yeah, we're looking for uh, the Barata Plata. Anybody who trains at Gracie Baja is going to know how to do the Barata Plata. That's a great control right here he has on the arm to go for the Barata Plata or the arm bar. Swivel with his hips. Reverse arm lock there. Let's see what else we got here. Another little Kimura attempt by uh, Babalu there. But you see Chael's fingers stuck under his shin there. He's yeah. sitting on his hand, really. And we're going to throw it up to Boss on the mat for the post-fight interviews. All right, Renato.